Hi there Brick Builders, today we got a real new company and on this channel here it's called Mega and it has the email address megablocks.com mm, Just a moment, I know that address Isn't that where all those Paw Patrol sets have been? Oh! Yes, sure, this is a Paw Patrol set so welcome to this video sporting a well-known company with well-known puppies. This time our little dogs sport a new set. The Mega HHN05, a Paw Patrol set called Marshall's Ultimate Fire Truck, sporting 37 pieces for three olds and older and having two minifix Marshall, what a surprise and Sky. And yeah, it's a fire truck and technically it's a two-in-one set, but this set is boring enough so that I didn't care to build it. So let's start with the box. Its main feature is sporting a 2x4 plate here that can be touched from the outside. It's a flat silver plate which is nothing I've ever seen from the Lego area and it's quite normal. On the front you get a picture of the set, of the contents of the set and a picture of what is done with this second review there, this second version. And on the top you get much the same. On the sides it's little kids playing with the set. Yes, this is for little kids. And on the back side we got again our set showing some of the big moves there and even how it's created, how it can be disassembled if needed and a little bit of advertising for other sets. So let's have a look at the instructions. We have 37 pieces here and a stapled instruction book. Yes, that sounds a bit odd, but Mega decided to put both the instructions for both the building possibilities here inside this instruction set, so it's a bit bigger than usual. Anything else is just like Mega does it. You get dotted spaces where you have to put something. You get sub-assemblies, you get parts list, you get a part list for all of it in the back. And it's nothing real hard to do. It's done for three-year-olds and three-year-olds can do that. In the end we get to 23 pages. Have in mind there are two instruction sets for those 37 pieces here, otherwise it would be ridiculous, I know. So let's have a good look at the assemblies here. What is inside this? First of all it's a column. I don't know if this should mimic a emergency telephone or something like this. There are prints on it and they look a bit weird for everything I was thinking about. Then we get Sky with her helicopter there which is basically two pieces but I guess it's enough and it moves well. Speaking of Sky, here we got her in all her glory in her fire suit glory. She got a pink helmet with black ornament so it is painted at least two tone. She got a hat that is painted at least three tones. She got a upper body also painted and she got her at least her four feet also painted in two tone color here. And also Marshall has an interesting paint job, also his legs are painted, his upper body is painted, of course his helmet painted with a logo on it in another color and yeah, they really look better than their normal stuff in there. So fire fighting brings up the best in us or in Marshall. So let's open the set. First of all, yeah, we get our 4x2 plate here and then we get a lot of pieces with a lot of bag. There are no sections here which would be rather ridiculous for the size of the set or at least the part count. But there are a lot of things that are printed inside bags, inside special bags here to avoid scratching them. And also a bit of a novelty here is a lot of flat silver stuff. And that brings 
brings me to the conclusion here. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a step up from the older <coughs> Mega Blocks type things here, especially with the figurines. They are really printed well. There's not much difference in terms of the mold with the other sets there, but the painting on them is really involved. I don't know where I get such figurines on a mass production base anywhere else. There's also lots of flat silver in here, there's red in here, there's a bit of black and a bit of white, so there's nothing wrong with the colors and the colors are all the same. Everything is printed, everything is printed well. There are no stickers, no such hassle here. And also clutch power for this group of kids is mighty okay. It's better than everything Lego gives in the duplo size. And it's also sustainable, so the clutch power isn't really changing when you do lots of experimenting with the pieces here. So generally everything fine, everything good, except for the one thing that's nagging with this one, since Paw Patrol is not something for, or not only something for two to five year olds. No, there are lots of kids who love them, even in their later years, let's say up to 10. And therefore, I guess Mega is really missing out or Mattel at this point. Since they're called Mega now, why do they do some? Paw Patrol sets in the normal size for the older kids. I guess they would fly off the shelf. With that, that's it for this video. If you like what you've seen, please press the like button. If you didn't like what you have seen, please comment me that. And if you really want to have something like this every week, please subscribe. So, have fun building. Have fun watching, have fun playing, and see you!